message. Take care. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, and life coach, and author, and the host of this show, The Take Your Life Back Today radio show. Folks, you can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. Words of wisdom this morning. Everything isn't, everybody isn't your friend. Just because they hang around with you and laugh with you doesn't mean they are for you. Just because they say they got your back doesn't mean they won't stab you in your back. People pretend well. Jealousy sometimes doesn't live far. So know your circle. At the end of the day, real situations expose fake people, so pay attention. I mean, we all are a little broken, but last time I checked, broken crayons still color the same. So no matter how broken you are, if you fall seven times, get up eight times. Life has taught me that you can't control someone's loyalty, no matter how good you are to them doesn't mean that they will treat you the same. No matter how much they mean to you, doesn't mean they will value you the same. Friends, sometimes the people who uh, that you love most turn out to be the people that uh, you can trust the least. This is all about just reality. Stop trying to change someone who does not want to change. Stop giving chances to someone who abuses your forgiveness. Friends, stop walking back to the place where your heart ran from in the first place. Stop trusting their words and ignoring their actions. Stop breaking your own heart because you deserve the best. And through God, you will get the best. A relationship means you come together to make each other better. It's not all about you. It's not all about them. It's about the relationship itself. Support them in their dreams, vision, just as much as you would expect them to support you. Make each other better each and every day. Challenge each other to go beyond average. Pull out the greatness from within each other. Make sure they can find their biggest fan in you, my friends, and you can find yours in them. If someone requires you to change who you are in order to be with or around them, they're not for you. If you can't find yourself around someone, they're not for you. Someone has their life together, won't sit around and tell you uh, who you need to be. They will tell you uh, uh, to find who you are and continue to improve on that person. That's not love. Those are meant to be in your life, won't degrade you, judge you, or talk about you because they are too busy loving you and uplifting you. If you put your faith in uh, opinions, you'll never be good enough. Put your faith in God instead. Focus on God's truth and purpose for your life and you'll find your perfect self. You'll never live up to the standards of uh, what everyone wants you to be. So why fight a battle you can never win? Instead, focus on being more of who you are meant to be and focus less on uh, what they think you should be. You might not uh, see your own beauty, but if you continue to uh, conceal and hide you, uh, who you are, the heart that's for you won't be able to find you either. Friends, you have to accept this. Words, they lie. Actions lie too. Consistency speaks the truth. Words lie. Actions lie too. Consistency speaks the truth. You might be thinking, I'm not perfect. I've made mistakes. I mess up constantly. I seem to be going the wrong way. Remember, it's the layers in life that create perfection. Don't view your life as mistakes. View them as Da Vinci's layers. And God is using your mistakes to help create a masterpiece with you. That's what you should be focusing on. Perfection is no different. If you seek your, uh, your perfection in the hands of one who made you, he'll put you, uh, he'll put you on a perfect path for you. Thanks. Perfection isn't living mistake-free life. It's learning from those mistakes, those layers, to create the best you, a perfect you, a you that God in advance knew you would end up to be. Magazines don't exist to make you feel good about yourself. They exist to keep you insecure, so you'll buy their magazines looking for answers, and it puts doubt in your mind. So be careful with some of those magazines, like the National Enquirer and all those. Perfection is not being flawless. Perfection is embracing those flaws so that the heart 
that's meant to love you can see the real you perfectly. Perfection is not being flawless. Perfection is embracing those flaws so that the heart that's meant to love you can see the real you perfectly. Isn't that beautiful? You got to always remember that um, consistency in life speaks more volume than any other thing. Call me at 844-405. Help together. We can help each other. Take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to a total stranger can help that stranger. can change their life. can change your life too. All these things that I just spoke about are uh, through God. He can eliminate all the negativity that I just spoke about. And the positive things that lift you up because God loves you. Remember that. Never forget that. God truly loves you.